guys, how are you guys doing today? So I'm just gonna do a quick vlogging with you guys of me basically prepping the baby crib that we got for free, thank God. So this is what we're gonna do guys. Prep this nice baby crib over here for painting. I'm gonna paint and prime it. Hey guys, so the first thing you wanna do is prep your, your, your crib. You wanna wipe it down, you know, use some, um, attack cloth to make sure you wipe it down you can use soap and water but it's not absolutely necessary but just in case there's some residue on there like you know old bottle milk or whatever um you want to wipe it down then i started sanding with the sander um the best part about this is that the sander was taking off all the scum all the grime but you and it's also preparing a nice surface for you to paint but you really want to make sure you wipe it down to make sure that there's no residue of anything any you know things from the previous owner or the previous you know baby but sanding this was definitely a task it was fun though but it was it was a lot um after i was done sanding it i did wipe it down but we'll get to that you'll get to see it um my sander um i sand so much that the that the sander was actually like finished i had to get another pad but you don't have to be as rough as me you just need a light sanding especially if you're gonna prime and depending on the prime that okay, you have so I the first one. Nice, like we went from a brand new padding to this crazy looking paper so, yeah, this thing is beat up. But let's get a little bit of the back. So, this is just a disclaimer. Make sure you guys use a face mask if you need to, if you have allergens, or if you're very sensitive to dust or anything like that. Thank goodness my sander had a dust catcher, but even with a sander with a dust catcher, some might, you know, get through, but just, you know, be safe or sorry. I am pregnant, but I was still able to sand in a well-ventilated area, so I didn't have to worry much about dust um, flying around. I am so grateful that I purchased this sander. You guys don't understand. Because back in the day, I would use a paper sander, and it was tedious, and it took forever for me to do certain projects. So I'm so happy that I actually got a sander. I Things go quicker. It's like, wow, amazing. I digress. Whatever's better for you. Sanders have come a long way, and they're less expensive now. But if you know, if you using what you have, or if you even have it, a block sander works too, a regular sander. So, but know that the standard sometimes cannot get all the fine lines or, you know, you'll be missing some spots with the sander. So it's important to go back in and, um, with a different sander pad or sanding pad and try to get the pieces that are missing. Yeah. And that's what I did. See, I went with the smaller one just to make sure. Um, a paper one just to make sure I was able to get all the parts and here I am again sanding sanding I got frustrated with the sander um, I don't know what happened here but here I am using just the pad itself just to finish up the project just to scruff it up a little bit yep so guys yep uh, Sandra does come in handy.
Now, this is the part where my mother would probably go off on me if she saw this, me doing this while I'm pregnant. But guys, seriously, when you're working in any type of area doing a project, it's especially when it comes to dust or whatever, it's always important to clean up your area. So I had to make sure I had to get my area sanitized. Um, the dust, like I said, wasn't as crazy. So I didn't have to really worry about um, dust flying that much. But just to be just to be safe, I would wear a dust mask if you have to sweep up as much as I do. Um, I always sweep up and clean up my area when I'm doing my projects for um, the sake of cross-contamination. Um, and from the previous project, we were sanding down that door for the um, first for this room that we're building. You guys can check the other you my other videos to see me building um, 200 square feet uh, guest room in my patio, turning my patio into a guest room. And we were working on that project at the same time. So we had a lot of dust uh, coming from the other projects that we were doing and we didn't have time to sand. So I'm sweeping and I mean, we didn't have time to vacuum. So I'm sweeping and I'm going to vacuum the debris. But a situation like that, um, you would want to wear a face mask, but like I said, I'm in a well-ventilated area. It didn't really cause that much effect to me, but I did end up vacuuming at the very end because, um, yeah, the dust was rising from sweeping. Now, as you guys can tell, I'm wiping everything down. I'm wiping all the dust debris off of the crib. Uh, you could use a napkin, paper towel, or old t-shirt, or a tack cloth. I'm not sure what I used in this video. I think a rag and um a rag and a task cloth. But I was able to take off most of the dust um from the crib. This is like later on in the afternoon I came back to finish cuz at that time I was definitely 8 months pregnant and I'm like, uh I'm going to try my best. I think I was 8 or 9 months pregnant. Yeah, I think I was 8 months pregnant. So I was like, let me Go take a bath, take a rest, and come back. And that's what I did, guys. Oh, if you hear a baby in the background, that's my little guy. He's here. So, <laughs> you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you like more videos like this, I am a new mother, so I'm, you know, learning a lot of new things. Um, So, your tips are appreciated. <laughs> okay, before I forget, guys... Um, I, I had to go back with a paper sander or a sanding paper. There you go. That's the word sanding paper. I had to go back with the sanding paper to get the fine lines and grooves. And when I went to get the fine lines and groove of the sanding, um, of the crib, because the sander itself cannot get every single nook and cranny. So it's always important to go back. So while I was wiping down. I decided to sand a few a few spots that were still shiny because the whole thing is that we're trying to take some of the the shine off the 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 sheen off of it so we can make sure that our paint is adhering to the crib and that's almost impossible if you don't take off the first layer of of shine from the crib. Now that is just a toddler part of the crib. We're, I'm making sure that I paint that because children do grow fast and I want to make sure that when he does grow we can just you know interchange what we need to at that time oh this is me in my moo dress y'all don't mind me <laughs> I decided to go and purchase a spray a spray a paint sprayer because um painting I wanted that fine finish on it to make it look you know super like brand new flush and um, so I went and got me, and plus I needed a, a a paint sprayer, not only for the crib, but for the whole project alone that I was working on at that time. So it was a great investment. I think I bought it for like $69 or $106. I'm not sure from Home Depot, but I'll put a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And you guys can choose as to which one you want. The Wagner paint sprayer that I got also works for painting um and um what's that staining 
so wood staining so when i'm ready to work on my fence my fence in the backyard i will have um i will have the machine as a great investment to do several projects not just one so whenever you guys are looking to buy and invest in tools make sure it's something that you can use more than once on several projects oh and like i said if you guys have any tips um, for newborn babies, mine has uh, acid reflex, and he's also col colic, colicky. So he's also colicky, and I'm breastfeeding, and I'm giving formula um, at times too. So if you know information, you can give a few tips. Um, go ahead and comment down below because um, this is you know it's it's frustrating for me as a new mom with him and my daughter and it's also you know it's more frustrating for him extremely frustrating for him with the gas pains and everything but thank god for skin to skin contact because i'm able to feel you know some of his gas pains and they are crucial i feel so sorry for little guy but we're working on a on a um on a treatment strategy so far we're giving him medicine and i'm drinking tea to help my breast milk when I give it to him to help soothe the gas pains. But like I said, guys, if you know a better um, home remedy or treatment, just comment down below. Respectfully, comment down below um, to help out. Um, your tips and ideas will be appreciated or would be considered. So, guys, all I'm doing right now is just painting it again, priming it. I'm sorry, priming it again, making sure, as you can tell, some of the color discoloration. I didn't have to prime twice, but every time I seen a little dark on there, I just got to it. But I don't know if priming two times was the best thing, but I did it anyways. Um, and I'm happy with the overall look of the crib. I'm just painting with the primer guys um almost finished there uh, because I'm having a boy I noticed that the color I chose at that time was a little bit scary because the color was so light and I was trying to do the gender neutral for him and his sister because I plan on later on having them share a room but when I started spraying I was like oh my gosh this color is so light and it's like a, a pink tint to it and I was like uh let me just keep spraying and hopefully I like it so I was like I'm just gonna go through with it and just do two coats and see what happened and thank goodness that's exactly what happened when I did the second coat the color thickened up it got darker and it looks better and the project was a success because of it okay so I did the first coat with the color I like it so far it's looking good y'all first coat the reason why I didn't go too low is because the wind kept pushing it back and as you can tell there's debris getting on the crib so I gotta send it off but I'm letting this dry in the sun so I can come back and finish the rest I'm excited I'm almost done with this crib yay and this is just from paint that I bought last year okay that I never use just sitting here. I was debating on what color to use in my daughter's room. And that's the paint that's left over. So this is looking really good. I thank God for the sun today. It's really good. Alright, so that's just my brother helping me out with um, coat number two. I was exhausted, guys. Thank God for my brother, um, Joe, that came through and helped me. Hey, Joe, shout out to Angelo. Thank you, bro, for helping me out. Yep.
better, guys. Super clean, super nice. Baby clip. The only thing that I did right like, here, I made a little bit of mistake. Uh, I may or may not fix it. I don't know, guys. I'm tired. But that was me. Just yeah. It started raining, so I rushed everything in. But this is the finished look of the clip, guys. Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? It's all finished, ready for us to put together. Oh, I didn't wait till the paint dried. My bag here. Oh, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, I guess we didn't wait till the paint dried all the way, so we kind of stuck it together. So we have that little indentation right there. Once again, didn't wait till it dried completely and we stuck it together, but it still looks great, guys. This looks, it's beautiful. Look at that, from being outside for all those days. It's been outside for about three weeks now. <coughs> okay, guys, later. Come, pee pee. Come, Mr. Weeder, come on, come on. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, this is the area that we've done. We took about a, a quarter to 30% of our room to make this uh, baby nook. Um, that is the rocker. That's his little um, chair thing there. Um, we got the, we moved his sister's um, diaper changing table into the room. And... We also added the fur rug, so when I'm there, my feet could be cushioned as I watch him sleep. <laughs> uh, but it's mostly for show purposes. We're going to remove that. Um, and that's the, the spot I was telling you about in the patio when they were sitting outside in the patio. Um, and they got all sticky um, from, not, from them not drying properly. But I didn't change it. But I'll probably touch it up later. And that's another part that I noticed that, you know, we didn't smooth over. That's the worst of the crib. That's about it. Everything else, there's no more scratches or dents. There's nothing else. Everything is just um, perfect. The finish is smooth. Everything is great. Oh, there go one more. That's a dent. I didn't, um, I didn't apply wood glue to that. But that's about it, guys. Um, and that right there. Yep. But after and that, but those are like very minor, you know. Um, if anything, I should have went back a little bit to just touch up, but I chose not to, cause I don't have time. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm done with the project. So it's beautiful. The crib is beautiful. Um, he's happy. He was in a playpen when he was first born. We were not thinking about putting the crib in the room until his sister wanted to be a super helper and reach over into the playpen, she's pretty tall, and try to, you know, give him some of her toys. So we felt like to keep him, you know, safe from her toys at the moment, we're just going to put him in his crib. <laughs> we're just going to put him in his crib. And that's what we decided to do. And that was the best decision we've ever done because he sleeps better in his crib than he did than he did in the playpen. So, yeah. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you my, um, and this section right here is a work in progress. Y'all know I am, I'm gonna get to it eventually, but I am really exhausted. Breastfeeding all the time is something else but i'm happy that he's out and he's so cute look at him right there he's so cute but these are all the things right here that i still got to fix up for the baby's um station area which is hard to fix up because there's so much to be done Oof. 
This quarantine life got us like looking crazy. As y'all can see my bed set, celebration of the baby here. Um, yeah, but thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you all. God bless you, stay safe. And um, I pray that all of y'all could, you know, enjoy your, your stay at home with each other. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy the crib. And here it is once again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you're a new mommy or if you're a mom thinking about putting a crib in your room, it's definitely possible. Just find a good little area that you can make space for and just get to it. I haven't added any chores or anything like that for the baby, but I am looking for a tall dresser. Um, I did see one at, at, at Ikea. But I'm not sure of the width of it yet, and the price was pretty high, so I'm looking for one that's a little bit more cost efficient, and that'll soothe my needs for that corner section of the room right over there where the teddy bear is um, to the side. But uh, for now, I'm excited with this, and you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.